What's up guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at Moyu's newest flagship, the GTS-3. The Waylong line of cubes is one of the most iconic lines in all of speed solving. There have been world records broken on every single Waylong since they were produced, and the cubes have stayed many people's mains throughout the years. Inside the box you'll find the GTS-3 and an accessories box which includes many items like Team Moyu cards, two pamphlets, an extra set of magnets, the spring compression tool, a screwdriver, and the dual adjustment system. The GTS-3 is a 56mm 3x3 and weighs in at 92 grams, which makes it slightly bigger and heavier than most 3x3s currently on the market. It can be purchased for $34.99 and only comes in a stickerless model. The magnetic version comes with pretty strong magnets. There's also a non-magnetic version which is available for $29.99. The biggest design changes on the GTS-3 are the addition of ridges along the outside of the puzzle. We've seen this on Mega Minxes and some 2x2 models previously, but this is the first time that it has come to a serious 3x3. Another big change is the new spring compression system. This achieves what the GAN GES system does, but it's all built into the cube. You can use the spring compression tool to compress the spring every time you rotate it. If you go too far, it will eventually go back to the default setting. As far as the feel of the GTS-3 goes, it is quite unique. The ridges along the outside add a unique feel when holding and turning the cube. We haven't found them to be very distracting when solving. After some time, you really don't even notice them anymore. The plastic feels very thick and hard, which creates a very snappy puzzle. You can listen here. The snappiness can vary greatly depending on the spring compression setting you use. We recommend anywhere between 6 and 8, the tighter settings. Out of the box, the GTS-3 is one of the fastest cubes. It is very comparable to the speed of a Huanlong. Corner cutting is what you've come to expect from a flagship 3x3, over 45 for regular cuts, and near line to line for reverse. A cube this different in design choice will always have big fans and big doubters. Despite the mixed feelings about the cube, we consider the GTS-3 a big success for Moyu. The cube showed a big leap in cubing hardware development and also an innovative, more risk-taking spirit. Now like Chi and Gan, Moyu has two competition viable speed cubes, in the sense that both the GTS-2 and GTS-3 cubes are competition viable, giving people more good options to choose. Now let's hear a word from our testers. What's up, Damien here. I actually really like the GTS-3M. I know some people aren't a huge fan of the ridges, but I actually really enjoy them. And what I like most about this puzzle is that it shows that Moyu is willing to innovate and take risks. Another innovation, aside from the ridges, that I really like is the spring compression system. Although we've seen this in the past with the dual adjustment system, this is the first time that it's been fully integrated into a flagship puzzle. I'm definitely happy with the direction Moyu is taking with their puzzles, and I'm very excited to see what they'll do in the future. Hey everyone, this is Phil. Unlike Damien, I am not a big fan of the ridges. However, the other qualities of the cube more than compensate for the slight inconvenience of the ridges for me. The stronger magnets are a nice touch and the cube is super crisp, clean and responsive, which makes solving very fun. The M slices are also wonderful and produce the best feeling U-perms ever. I'm very happy for Moyu and its design team for releasing something novel but also highly functional. I hope Moyu can produce a non-ridge version in the future. Hey guys, this is Chris. I really can't decide how I feel about the GTS-3. On one hand, I've enjoyed using it and I feel my times are close to normal or maybe slightly better. On the other hand, there's something about the heavy, very clacky turning that I'm not a huge fan of. As far as the ridges go, I don't have much of an opinion honestly. I could go with or without them and be completely fine. I don't think that they really ever improved my grip on the cube or at least if it did, it wasn't noticeable to me but I definitely don't think it hurts to have them there and they never annoyed me, so I'm kind of just indifferent. I'm currently using my compression set to eight, which is the tightest you can go. I found that anything less than six felt really flimsy and I didn't like it. I'm really happy to see Moyu trying something new. This spring compression system is a fantastic idea and I hope that other companies will adopt this type of technology because I think it's something that will be very useful for cubers. Hello everyone, it's Mio here. I've had the pleasure to test out the new Moyu flagship 3x3 GTS-3M. When I first got the cube, I was really impressed. 
The cube features ridges on the pieces and the new Mario revolutionary spring compressing and tensioning system. Instead of using knots to change the spring compression like in game cubes, you simply adjust it by using a little blue tool included with the cube. Many people don't like the ridges on the GTS 3, however in my opinion they help to better grip the cube. The feel of the cube is really smooth and insanely fast at the same time. I had to slow it down with a lot of silk to make it suitable for my turning style. Magnets in the cube are quite strong as it helps to make it stable. After a week of testing, I used the cube in the European Championship 2018 and then the US Nationals 2018 where I placed 4th and 5th respectively. Not gonna lie, this cube is the best cube I've ever had and I highly recommend it to you if you like smooth and fast cubes. That's all for now. Thank you for watching the review. I hope you like it.